Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little different, okay? I will be reviewing these clip-ins sent to me by Afford Hair. Thank you so much to Afford Hair for sending me these clip-ins. I have zero experience with clip-ins, never tried clip-ins before. I've seen one video, which is the TikTok that my cousin showed me that I installed these clip-ins on. I don't know nothing about clip-ins. So yeah, this is my first time working with them. And yeah, y'all will see how that goes later in the video. But yeah, before we get into the video, I do need to promote myself as always. Don't forget to check my website, Beauty.com where I sell my lashes, my big blinks, which are my 25 millimeter lashes, and my baby blinks, which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls. I also sell lip gloss I make myself. My lip candies are my tinted glosses, and all my lip glosses are scented, by the way. Very moisturizing. But yes, I have Juicy Watermelon, which is like a red tint. I have Georgia Peach, which is like an orange peachy tint. And then I have Coco Kiss, which is what I'm wearing right now which is a brown tint. And then I also have just regular clear glosses and clear glitter glosses. The clear gloss is strawberry kiwi and the glitter gloss is diced pineapple. So yes, go shop those. I also have bags. I have the crystal money bags, the cute little crystal money bags. I have cute little quilted mini bags. I have cute little spring jelly mini bags. I also sell rhinestone face masks. COVID ain't gone, sis, okay. If you're not vaccinated, you need a mask. So stay safe out here, but stay cute and get you one of these cute little rhinestone face masks. And some of these rhinestone face masks actually match some of the spring little jelly bean bags. You can get one and match a bag or whatever, you know, do it up real cute, you know, all matchy and stuff. I also sell press-ons now that I make myself. This is a set right here that I'm wearing right now. This set right here is available on my website. I know y'all seen this set before. You're probably seen this. It was done on Diera by Class Act Nails on Instagram. That's their Instagram name. But yes, I made it into a press-on set. So you can shop my press-on. You can shop any of the designs that I have on my website or you can DM my business page, Hushi Beauty on Instagram and we can discuss a custom order over there if you want something other than what you see, but you can always order the designs I already have on my website, but I do accept custom orders. I also sell do-rags. I'll be dropping my spring slash summer color velvet do-rags that I also make myself soon. Um, I'll be sewing or whatever. So yes, I'll be dropping those soon. I only have my fall colors up right now. So shop those. I also have jewelry, necklaces, anklets, all the cute stuff, and I got sweat sets. I know it's not time for that right now, it's hot but you might as well get you one when it gets cold or go ahead and get one so you'll have it when it gets cold. But yeah, everybody loves a little, a good little sweat set, a good little lounge set. So go shop with me, whoshebeauty.com, stop playing with me. And then I'll be making some of my stuff myself. I make my lip gloss myself, my press-ons, I make myself, my do-rags, I sew myself. I think I'm gonna start selling clothes cause I do be sewing clothes. If you follow me on TikTok, then you know that. I might start doing that too. So stop playing with me, stop playing with me. Go shop whoshebeauty.com, link in the description as well as my business page on Instagram. Whew, that is always a mouthful to say at the beginning of every video. But I'ma keep doing it because me promoting my business at the beginning of my YouTube videos have actually been helping me out a lot. Y'all have been shopping with me. Like y'all actually been shopping with me coming from YouTube. So I'ma keep promoting it. So yeah, I see y'all have been shopping with me and I sure appreciate it. Thank you, sis. And when you shop with me, you get a 20% off discount code for your next order. Go shop, link in the description. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm gonna start with the unboxing, uh, which is the clip you'll see next. And then after that, I'll get into me installing it and then I'll give you my review as I'm installing it because it's a voiceover um, during the install portion. So yes, I'll get into that. Also, I gotta make a disclaimer real quick. Do not come for me. I know the hair doesn't match. I do explain that later on, but I know somebody gonna say something just because they don't make it that far into the video. And they gonna be like, the hair don't match. The hair not the same color. I know that. I explain that later on, okay? And we figure it out. And you know, I explain all that in the video. So I'm aware that the hair color does not match her hair. And that was my fault. That was my fault. It had nothing to do with the company. I just picked the wrong color. But just, just making that known, cause I don't need nobody saying nothing and coming for me talking about it don't match I and mean, you didn't even get to the part where I explained that so there's that okay let's get into the unboxing and the install portion all right y'all so this is what the box looks like I also put the product picture on the right side of the screen of what it looks like on Amazon but yes this is the box it just says a forward hair white box and these are the 22 inch clip-ins there are seven pieces and it's $79.85 if you want to get it um so I'm opening up the box. There are no goodies. You know how hair companies usually send little goodies and stuff. There's nothing in the box except the clip-ins and this little clear plastic bag. They also come inside a hair net. And this is how long they are, the 22 inches straight. So yeah, I'm going to install these on my cousin. And I'm going to talk y'all through like how to do it. So we had saw a TikTok. Well, she sent it to me and uh, wanted some clip-ins. So um, I let her have these. But basically on the TikTok... Um, the girl was saying that the trick is to put them in upside down. So that's what you'll see me do in a second. But right now I'm just parting her hair, just parting straight across, just a section of her hair out. And then we're going to put in the clip-ins. The clip-ins are, um, they're kind of like how barrettes work. If you ever wore barrettes, you see, like you flip them out to open it and then you push them back down to close it. It looks like I'm being really aggressive. I'm just trying to push it back down, like 
to close the little clips or whatever but um yeah that's how you install them but yeah you put them in upside down and clip them all the way across and then you just part out another section you know part out some more hair to comb over that and then do another clip in and by the way we're doing it this way because um she wanted to do it in a ponytail so i don't know if the whole upside down method is for ponytails or that's how you just install them in general even if you want to wear it straight down but we we're doing it for a ponytail and that's how you know the video set to do it on tiktok like to do it upside down for a ponytail so i don't know if that applies to wearing it straight down or not but yes we're doing it this way because she wanted a ponytail also i'm going to insert this picture of the clips they're not all the same width across. I just wanted to, you know, throw that in there to show y'all. They're not all the same width across. There's one piece that has four clips going across. There are two pieces that have three clips going across. Three pieces that have two clips going across. And then one that has just one clip. So yeah, they're not all the same width across. And I guess the reason for that is to use it in different areas of your head. So like the widest part of your head is like kind of like the middle section. Um, depending on the circumference of your head, you probably use the four clip one for that. I used the three clip ones for like towards the nape of her neck and then the two clip ones everywhere else and then the one clip for like a gap or something. But yeah, they're not all the same width. But yeah, I'm just doing the same thing throughout her whole head, you know, until I get to the front of her hair. I'm just doing the same thing. So I'm going to let y'all watch me do that. I think I used all the clip ins except one, which is probably one of the two clip ones I didn't use. But yeah, I pretty much used all of them except one. So now I'm just going to give my review on this product while y'all watch me finish up her hair. Um, I actually really like these and I didn't even, you know, clip-ins weren't something that I was even interested in, but I know that she was looking for some and I was going to let her have them anyway. And I couldn't do it on my hair anyway because my hair wasn't straight. But yeah, I actually want to try these on myself because they actually work like, you know, the little method works, especially, um, you want to do it in a ponytail. And I think it would work fine even if you wore it straight down, like, you know, and combed it over, you couldn't tell. But the only issue that we ran into is obviously as y'all can see so you don't have to come for me i know it doesn't match okay that was my fault that has nothing to do with the company that's completely my fault and also you can see her hair is a little frizzy right there she didn't get her hair completely straight like silky straight that's another thing make sure your hair is completely straight but yeah obviously the color doesn't match and that was my fault i picked 1b thinking her hair was a 1b unless the company's 1b is just off i don't know but yeah i thought she was a 1b so i picked out 1b when i picked the hair um, I should have got a 1 because her hair is definitely a 1. It's a lot darker than that. So, yeah, that was the only issue that we ran into with it was obviously the color. And then her hair wasn't completely straight either. So just make sure that you get the right color for your hair. And, you know, your hair is straight enough to blend with it. You know, no frizzies or nothing like that. And you should be fine. It should blend completely fine. But yeah, that that's just my fault. You know, I, I just picked the wrong color. But it's really not a problem at all because, I mean, this is virgin hair. So she could dye it jet black if she wanted to. Um, well, I mean, she should because, you know, it's not going to look right. Or, you know, it'll look better if she just went ahead and dyed it. So, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. She could always just, you know, watercolor or just dye it. I mean, it's not a lot of hair. Just put some uh, jet black dye on it and wash it and you know blow dry it or whatever and it should match her hair perfectly fine and also you know uh when her hair is you know silky straight you got to have your hair like silk press straight for this hair but there are companies out there that sell kinkier texture clip-ins so you might want to look into that if you have kinkier hair for it to blend a lot better but yeah i do recommend these you just have to make sure your hair is straight enough and you get the right color but it didn't even end up looking that bad, which you'll see in her pictures at the end. But yeah, I'm just putting in a ponytail right here. But yeah, as you can see, the method actually works really well. It actually, you know, looks natural other than the fact that it didn't match her hair color and her hair wasn't straight enough. But it still turned out cute. She wanted to put it in a higher ponytail, so that's what she's doing. But as you can see, she put some curls in it and it didn't even look bad. It actually looks pretty decent, even though it didn't match. So boom, what you gonna say now? Nothing. All right, y'all, so as y'all see, it actually turned out really cute, even though the color didn't match and her hair was a little frizzy towards the end. She didn't get completely straight. But it actually turned out pretty cute once she curled it and everything. You know, it actually kind of blended pretty well and it didn't even look that bad. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I already said that a thousand times already probably um, to get the correct color and make sure your hair is straight enough. I do recommend this product. I definitely want to try it on my own hair when I get it straightened. I mean, my hair is like bristling, but if I just want like some super long hair and I want to do like a ponytail and just to make it look really natural and blend with my hair, I'll make me some clip-ins and try it. So yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend these because there are no flaws on their end. There are no flaws on their end. I'm the one that messed up the color thing. But yeah, the product works like, you know, so boom, definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10 recommend. 
But yeah, thank you again to Afford Hair for sending me these clip-ins. I enjoyed trying these for the first time, even though I didn't try them myself. But yes, thank you again for sending me those clip-ins. That is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.